Plants have roots, stem, fruits, flowers, leaves, and seeds, and each part of them has their own function. In today, the Daily Eco video, we're going to explain the different parts of a plant and their functions. Let's dive right in. The stem and its types. The stem is the aerial part of the plant that is characterized by growing in the opposite direction to gravity, that is, from the bottom up. Although it is commonly known as the aerial part of the plant, it can sometimes be underground. That's why we divide it into two types. The underground stems, which as the name suggests are located underground and are subdivided into tubers, rhizomes, and bulbs, and the aerial stems, which are located above the ground and can be upright, climbing, fickle, or creeping, although there are also special stems, such as those with thorns, tendrils, or stolons. Stem Functions The stem has two main functions. On the one hand, it is responsible for holding the branches, flowers, and leaves at a certain height from the ground. And on the other hand, it is responsible for transporting nutrients and substances through the interior of the plant. The stem carries the raw sap from the roots to the upper part of the plant and carries out its vital functions. Roots and their types Roots are the most important organ of a plant and it is the first organ developed when germinating. There are different types of roots that are classified in different ways. Depending on the anchorage they provide, they can be divided into contractile stilts or epiphyte roots. They can also be classified on the root system such as taproot, fibrous, and adventitious. Root Functions The roots of a plant have two main functions, to absorb water and nutrients through the small absorbent hairs they have, and to fix the plant's structure. In addition, some roots also have other functions such as digging into other plants to absorb their nutrients or to photosynthesize. Before we continue, let's put you to the test. Do you think that plants feel pain? A. Yes, plants feel pain. B. No, plants don't feel anything. Or C. No, plants do not feel pain like humans. Have you already thought about it? The correct answer is C. Plants do not feel pain like humans, but they do perceive damage and they communicate it to the rest of their body and even to nearby plants to warn them of danger. Leaves and its types Leaves are thin green plant organs that grow from the stem or branches of plants. Its most common classification is according to whether the plant keeps the leaves all year round, being evergreen leaves, or if it loses them in the cold months, being then deciduous leaves. Leaf functions. The leaves of a plant have three main functions. Allow the plant to breathe, taking oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide, do photosynthesis, obtaining chemical energy from the sun's rays, and perspire, letting excess water escape through them. Flowers and its types Flowers are the most striking part of any plant and the one that is responsible for reproduction, although not all plants reproduce by flowers. The vast majority of flowers are brightly colored to attract pollinating insects. Also, there are many types of flowers in different colors, sizes, aromas, and shapes. Flower parts 
The flower is divided into five parts, calyx, stamens, pistils, filament, and corolla. The stamens are the male sexual organ of the plant and it is where the pollen is found. Once the pollination process takes place, it is carried to the pistils, the female sexual organ, giving birth to a new plant. Fruit and its types Although not all plants bear fruit, those that reproduce through sexual reproduction by seeds tend to produce fruit as well. Once the flower has been fertilized, it produces a seed that forms a fruit around it. Fruit function The main function of fruit is to protect the seed, while facilitating its dispersal through animal activity, since the animals will consume the fruits and deposit the seeds in other areas, thus helping the plant species to spread. Seeds and their types The seed is a very important part of the plant that, as we have mentioned before, is part of the interior of the fruit. The seeds can be different shapes, colors, and sizes, and some can even be eaten. The seeds germinate and from that comes the root, the stem, and the first leaves that will be a new plant. Seed functions Each seed has two main functions to guarantee the protection of the embryo inside and to provide the embryo with the necessary nutrients for its development and thus to germinate correctly. We hope you found this video interesting. If so, don't forget to subscribe for future videos and we'll see you next time.